good morning. It's Saturday morning. Derby Jack here. Um, I've got the uh, weekend news on, you know, the, the weekend lies. You know, you, you have to, I, I watch the weekend more just to see all the lies gather together and then see how to sort out all the lies. But today is, you know, it's after holidays. It's after Thanksgiving. Now it's time for the shopping fiasco. So they're showing all these people 50% off here, 75% off there. Go get yourself a flat screen TV, 50% off. That's only like, what, $300 to the top one? You know, probably not worth any more than 50 bucks. But you know, you're getting a good deal. Um, oh, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, okay. I don't celebrate it. Um, I haven't celebrated it in quite a few years. Uh, the... Um, for most of us who always eyes are open, we don't celebrate. And it's not because we think we're better than anybody else. It's just that we don't celebrate pagan holidays. I mean, uh, uh, Christmas is not the day that Jesus was born. I mean, if you really want to go into the chronology of it all, I mean, J Jesus is born in probably what spring and summertime uh, uh, during, during the time they were herding the sheep around. So, I mean, you know, eh. but anyway. So we celebrate this false narrative, and we know that it has other mixtures of other paganisms. And remember whose world this is. Remember everything that's perverted. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, we could have a nice Christmas if we just recognize that you know Christmas is an uh, it, it, it would be would be a celebration of of Jesus' birth. We don't have to you know I'd say we don't have to know, but they make it to where you know this is it. You know, but it has nothing to do with Jesus' birth in the world. It has to do with money. Has to do with money changing. That's right. It's like uh, all the all these people are on the steps, and and, and their money changing and selling this and and, and and selling that and you know and, and and having all kinds of little things going on that they shouldn't be doing. Um, and so that's what Christmas is. You know, all the holidays is about money. You know, uh, what what are we going to make this year? You know, we're going to get rid of all that all that worthless stuff we weren't able to see. Here's the thing, you idiots don't understand. Whatever they haven't been able to sell throughout the year, they're going to put on sale. If you hadn't bought it yet, probably ain't worth buying in the first place. That's the other thing. When you sit there and you watch TV and you see, oh, I, they've got to have this. Oh, it's like info commercials. How, I don't know how you've lived without this. Yeah, this is the great item, man. It, and, 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 and so people, this is what Christmas has turned into, a fiasco. Remember many, some years back when people were really start when the chemtrails were hitting, but we didn't know about it, we didn't think about it back then, all of a sudden, this isn't even before the, you know, that was making people crazy too. But even before that, you know, people be sitting there, Black Friday, you know, the doors open and all of a sudden people are cramming in there trying to grab a television, trying to grab this, you know, it's embarrassing. That's why I always say I'm, Humanity embarrasses me. I don't even like being next to people like that. I wouldn't go into a store like that. If somebody took a picture of me, I'd be, uh, my picture would be, be plastered up there along with them. I don't want to be around them. I don't want to be mistaken for a bunch, a bunch of freaking fools who, who are trying to buy something on sale that was shouldn't even be, it's not even worth what the sale that they're selling it for. You know? You know, it's uh, the other thing about, about holidays, especially Christmas. This is when this is when the this is when the the guys come out there in front of the stores with the little bells, right? You know, give you give a dollar, you give a couple bucks here and there. So that one that one day holiday, you're giving money to you know Salvation Army or something. Uh, uh, once a year, that's going to feed the rest of the world. It's going to feed the rest of. The, see what I'm saying? It's like I was telling you, when people would come down to the Union Mission once a year during Thanksgiving or Christmas or some other, you know, once a year to serve the, the homeless. Homeless eat every day. You come down and serve a, 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 a bowl of a, a soup uh, once, a, one, once a year? They eat every day. You serve once a year. What does that make you? Doesn't make you helping those people. Remember I told you, they'd come with a bunch of cameras and stuff for, 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 for the people back home so they start giving money so they could buy, they could rent buses. 
waste the money on buses to send children across the, across the country to, to go to a homeless shelter. Don't they have a homeless shelter in their own neighborhood, in their own city, in their own state? No, Nashville, Tennessee happened to have been at the time uh, a, a big name. I, mean, I remember back then uh, 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 the, the different people who were always on television. But see, this is what I'm talking about. It's that fakeness. Everything seems to be fake. Let's have emotions. And that's like what they do on television. They show you all this emotional stuff, like this so-called proxy war up there. People are running, fire and stuff, but when you see behind the scenes, they've got cameras up there. Run quicker. Come on, make it look good. A little bit more tears in the eyes so people start giving money. You know, that's what it's all about. And you people believe in the war. You people believe in our government. All the things. Oh, they're going to have a big tree and this and that. They don't. They, they do all this stuff to make it look good. Oh, we're going Christmas this year. Big. You know what? I'm sick of it all. I'm sick of it all. So if you want to play the spirited games, to, that's what all this is. It's all spiritual. It's all spiritual. All And, and, and the other thing is, is people are so blind. You know, you know you, you're all... Oh, maybe this year things will get better. Oh, stupid hope. St stupid, worthless hope. Y you don't have hope in the right things, you know? So that's what's going on. I, I, I get so sick of the holidays because it shows so much fakeism. And it also shows some of the worst of mankind. See, people say, well, the best of mankind showed on the holidays, especially Christmas. Why? Why can't the best of mankind show itself all the time. Why has it got to be one day out of a week? One day out of a year? Always one day out of a year we got to prove that we're something, that, that we're moral, that we got to prove that, we, we, that, 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 that we, we care about other people. When the, next, rest, of the, when, when, when the rest of the year, we're, we're, we're sending money to a, to a war to kill people. But we have peace on earth on Christmas, don't we? You might say, well, Derby Jack, you're kind of negative, aren't you? Let's try to make the best of things. That's the whole point. That's what they want you to do. So every year, as everything gets worse and everything gets worse, you should be happy for what you got. No, you, you couldn't afford a good dinner this year. Yeah, you, you had to buy cheap. You couldn't, couldn't get the candied yams. Or you couldn't get this. You couldn't get... So, you, so, you, so, you, so, you, so every year, that type of thing... What if next year there are no turkeys? You might have to pull out the cans of Spam and turn them into a turkey, make it look good, you know. But be, but be happy. So the more they take away from you, be happy. It's okay, right? We're going to take this away from you. We've got to hire the taxes because we still got the war going on. We got to pay for all that cinematology. You know what we got? We got to pay for all those actors running and stuff, acting like they're they're afraid of a fire that was just made. You know, bombs are are bombs are are, are, are a mile away, and yet pe people are just saying, "Oh, I'm... so." Anyway, there you go. So somebody asked me, "Do you believe in Christmas?" After watching this video, don't be a fool and ask me a question like that. You might get a mouthful of stuff because I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't play this, okay? Uh, uh, you know, isn't it funny? Christmas actually brings out the most spoiled brats in the world, okay? I didn't get what I wanted. I wanted a candle. I wanted this. Oh, yeah, you wanted this. You wanted that. You want, And you didn't get it. Well... We can't afford it this year. Well, Daddy, Mommy, maybe you need to get another job so I can get my... That's what kids want. They, they want things that parents can't afford anymore. And the monkeys on TV keep pushing it. That's right. But anyway... There you go. There's your world. So... For all you people ready to celebrate, you know, the giving, Christmas giving, you know, just remember one thing. 
This is not what Jesus Christ died on the cross for. He didn't die on the cross so you could go and, and get the best deals on Black Friday. He, he didn't die on the cross so you can act like you're doing something moral down at the soup kitchen. Jesus Christ didn't die. Jesus did not die on that cross so you could be a butthead and act and, and, and act and, and act like you know that 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 that, that things are are, are going to get better. You know when they keep taking more, you just keep you just keep believing. You yeah you just keep hoping. And what will happen is another Christmas may go by. And there'll be people who will be disappointed because they didn't get what they wanted, especially young people. There'll be people who'll be sad because they lost their loved ones earlier in the year. You know why. There'll be others who are sick, getting sicker, basically because, People passing away during the holidays because people forget. Let's have a very merry genocide this year. Y'all forget about that. Y'all forget about what they're doing to you behind the scenes, don't you? Yeah. Maybe I ought to write a song. Let's all have a very merry genocide. Let's kill a couple million more. So, well, speaking of killing, I can't do it. Um, I want to shoot the guy next door. I told you about this stupid neighbor and his entourage. Walking up and down, making all kinds of noise for no reason at all. Hollering at people, whistling at people, don't even want anything to do with them. I can't wait. I, I, they say that he's going he's to evict it, but I, I got to go to the office Monday and find out when this guy's going because I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail for killing somebody. And, and, and this guy is the type of guy that would make you want to do it. So I pray to God every day to keep my strength, keep my gun in the drawer where it belongs, and not to react, you know, because this is devil spirits right now. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for devil spirits whatsoever. I'm like a prize fighter when it comes to devil spirits. I, I, I blank them up. I don't want nothing to do with them. I, I tell them off. I, 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 I exercise them. I mean, I, I do what needs to be done. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've prayed over water, holy water. I've prayed over oil. I mean, all kinds of... I, I have no love for demon spirits, so... And demon-spirited people, so that's just it. This guy ain't gonna get born again. I don't see it. He, he's just... I don't know what the hell they're they got. They're doing something with this car. I may have to take a picture of this and show you what the hell he's doing in my near, in, in my backyard here, so to speak. But anyway, that's it. Uh, for all of you people who want to partake in the festi f facility, you know, festivities or whatever the hell, I can't even say it. You know, do, do Christmas this year? Go ahead. But this isn't what it's all about. Right now, if anything, when it comes to Jesus, when it comes to understanding who God is and what's going on, it's time to understand the truth. Are you of God or not? There's your truth. That's what's important. Do you have the gift that God gave you? The gift of salvation? The gift of freedom? Everlasting life? The hope of glory? There's your, there, there's your present. That's what God gave you. Gift, gift wrapped with blood. That's right. Gift wrapped with blood. Pure blood. A blood of salvation. Blood of purity. Blood of recognition. Blood of assurity for your salvation. Not just a covering, but a thrill, not thorough, but a thrill, thruly wash. Are you washed thruly? Do you know the truth? Do you see the light? Do you see the light of truth, the light of day, the light of righteousness? 
because if you don't then you'll be like the many going down to Walmart trying to get the best deal on the on the biggest crap uh, pile of crap they got out there like I said couldn't sell it throughout the year so now they're gonna put it on sale and tell you you need it what you need is God in Christ in you the hope of glory that's all you need screw Christmas screw your holidays Screw the screw those people wanting to make money off you. You know the best thing you could do, people? Don't celebrate. Keep it, celebrate in your heart. Don't put up a stupid tree because you're bringing the devil spirits. Probably burn your house down. Most of you young people don't even know how to put a tree up. Don't do something stupid. Remember, a lot of you people out there have been dumbed down for the last, what, five years of chemtrails. You've gotten stuff put in you. And a lot of your brain cells aren't working. Whether you're young or old, especially young people. They don't know things. If it doesn't have an emoji hooked up to it, if they can't navigate it on the phone, they can't, they can't, they won't live. I, I, I would never, I would never depend on any of these so-called kids today. Because they've been brought up in error. Um, they've been brought up to be worthless. And, and brought up to be used. That's it. Or if they don't make it into uh, past childhood, they were born to be, to have their blood, you know, drinking by a bunch of elitist and, and, and demon-spirited assholes in the world, uh, in high places. So anyway, there is a derby rant for the day you can, you can take with you. Take it on the go. Put it in your coffee. Sometimes you put a little too much sugar in here. Maybe you need a little unsweet, a little reality in your cup. Derby Jack out. See you all on the other side.